All right, guys, Project 400, we've done it. It was a um, customer came in with a bit of a dream and uh, we were pretty sure we were gonna make it, but it was gonna be with the mods that he wanted to do, he, he threw a fair bit at it. And um, yeah, we finally hit the 400 kilowatt mark with the, the G3660. Obviously, there's a hell of a lot of supporting components of this that uh, we've had a lot of questions about as well. So obviously we've had to start with, the main thing is your gearbox. Over sort of a certain amount of torque, the gearbox will explode. So we've, we've gone with a PAR first to six straight cut gear set for this one. They awesome gearbox actually, and they, they handle as much power as you want to throw at it really. He's gone for a, a, a stage one sort of rebuild. So this isn't a closed deck block. This is an open, open deck block. And also we were just trying to see what we can push out of it. He said, if we can get 400, that'd be great. I wasn't hundred percent convinced. I knew we'd get up sort of high threes, but, and also the whole turbo combo with the G3660. Again, we thought it would get there and all the rest of it. We weren't hundred percent sure. No one's ever wanted to push it that hard. So until this customer's come along, but everything is pretty, um, when I say standard, uh, high performance stuff, but we've done a drop in fuel, uh, surge tank from radium and obviously fuel rails, fuel lines up the engine bay, external regulator for the fueling system, which isn't anything crazy. It's just what you'd have to do for a track car. If you're, if you're looking at pushing, um, E85 or big power on the track, we're running Ecutech race ROM software. So, uh, and flex obviously. So on 98, I think we made just over 300, 310, something like that on high boost. And yeah, and then we got up to 400 on high boost on E85. So it's a, as I said before, G3660, it does have the larger street intercooler. So this could actually make potentially more power with a, with a spec R or a race intercooler. But this one is basically an engineerable kit, which is pretty crazy. This particular customer has opted for the external wastegate, which you, they do come out with an internal. I don't think you need to go external for this sort of boost. We're only running 22 pound. So, and I haven't found any major issues with the internal gate on these turbos with that sort of low boost. So that's why in the video, it does sound a little bit uh, fluffy. Like you can hear the screamer pipe really going, but you can plumb them back in, but this particular kit's just a, a screamer setup. Um, but everything else, honestly, is pretty standard rudimentary stuff that you have to do when you're pushing that sort of power so his next big thing is going to have to be brakes because that is something that you really need to look into but um yeah so just wanted to run you through a few things um and we've we've got a couple of posts up anyway so you can if you've got any questions um message the the website or, or give us a buzz and we can run you through the mods that we've done all the turbo kit stuff uh obviously it's sme kit you can buy them through us obviously as well because we are a reseller of them um pretty sure uh race fixes come on board with um sme's sort of got them on doing their uh distributorship as well so you get some really good pricing they got a whole heap of stuff on there as well um for 86ers so uh, you can always get stuff through them as well yeah, so, so there it is. Um, I could bang on all day about it, but essentially it's a pretty standardish rebuild that um, at least we can show you what the, what the power gains you can make when you have, the biggest thing is the gearbox. If you've got a gearbox and axles and all those sort of things, he doesn't have axles yet, they've been okay. I do recommend it. But if you get a gearbox, these are the sort of power numbers you can push when you, uh, when, you, when, you, when you want to. So awesome result. We're really stoked. The car drives really smoothly. And yeah, hopefully we can uh, show you a few more. And, and um, yeah, we're going to try go for the next one on our own car. We're going to try and push. <coughs> we've already gone to the four, 400 kilowatt mark. But we're going to try and push up towards between 450 and five. So we're really going to lean on this thing. So... Anyway, that'll be coming up sort of early next year, fingers crossed when it's all finished. So anyway, thanks for watching and got any questions, um, email the website. Thanks.